Hey, hey, y'all. What's good? Hi, everybody. It's your girl, Spicy Sugar, and we are back with another episode of the House of Hip Hop Podcast Show. Yeah. We lit. Litty. We've been pre-gaming, so um, I warn you now, I don't know. I don't mm. know what you're going to get. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to be said, but if you've seen any other episode of my show, you should know what to expect by now. Thank you. I'm your girl, Spicy Sugar. This is the House of Hip Hop Podcast Show at Street Media. Please give it up for the home team one time. Uh, this is an episode five of season four and we got a good one here for you tonight not only do we have one mc in the building we got two mcs in the building and we're gonna get it popping later on for you right now i want you to just make sure you have the vital information about me and mine's i'm spicy sugar you can follow me at spicy sugar 718 on Instagram and Twitter. Also, the House of Hip Hop podcast show on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch. Shout out to my Twitch family. I'm usually going live on Twitch, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, but shout out to my Twitch family. Um, make sure you're following everything that we're doing. Also, follow S Street Media, S underscore Street underscore Media on Instagram, Skull Street, on Facebook, S-C-H-O-L-E-Z Street on Facebook, and um, S Street Media on everything else, SStreetMedia.com, S Street Media Radio, all of that. You hear me, you hear, you know, some of my podcast mates, um, shout out to Pude and Plaga. They on S Street Media Radio. Yo, S Street Media Radio is fire. You hear a little something, but you hear that real street shit, that real authentic underground Facts. shit on S Street Media Radio. So make sure you tune in. So with that being said, you know you got to get all the politics out the way. I am excited for tonight because not only do I have um, a teammate of mine on tonight, but I also got a member who is S Street Media family. Um, shout out to MJ Connects. Uh, MJ, you know, she's my, oh, she's been my, my angel, hip-hop angel since I started. I love her to death. All right. So um, I'm always excited when she lines me up real quick. I love it. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, it's Snooze Daily. It's yo, World yo. of Rama. Grind Hard TV. Give it up for my peoples one yo, time. Yo, 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 yo. I'm so no, happy to have them in the building. Yeah. Um, you know, the forces that be, I was trying to put this show together and I was trying to do something different and <laughs> the world was like, no, yep. we're doing this the way you did. You set it up the first time. Right. So I'm really excited to see what happens now. Cause since I'm not in control of shit here, right. you know, they, they just wanted me to come and turn the camera on pretty much so <laughs> that this can happen. Snooze daily. Yo. Say hello to the people. What's going on? It's your boy Snooze D. Long Island is in the building. Exit 21. Velt Villain all day. Hey. Exit 21. I know something about that. Yeah. Sir World Orama. Rama. <laughs> Ride Hard TV. Yeah. 18th anniversary. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? We here doing what we do. New single out. AO QGTM. Just burning up the airways right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to everybody. Shout out the whole S Street Media family. Yes. And everything that we doing out here, man. I'm just happy to be still doing what I do, being relevant, making hit records in the fourth quarter. Yes. And getting money. All yes. Right? Yes. We were talking about pretty much how this year is over. Um, but it's a good time to wrap up, do a wrap up of this year. Let people know really what y'all been up to, you know, um, how it's really been, you know, the spotlight. 
You could I mean, say you could do a spotlight of 20, 20, 22 now, right? Yeah. We yeah, far by enough. now, yeah, yeah, you definitely could go enough. into. And plus, both of us actually snooze because I've been watching you from mm-hmm. the beginning. You, you, we, we know each other like that, so yeah. we could definitely do a wrap up of twenty twenty two, and um, yeah. it would be a lot because we've done a lot this year. Yeah. So we just twenty twenty three. We just got to come in harder and hit them with even more stuff, and and make the right strategic, intricate moves to make the to right make results come out of what we what we doing. You know, all, what I mean? all you can, all you need to be doing is multiplying, yeah. not subtracting. Right. Definitely not dividing. Right. Nah, nah, Just no adding and multiplying. That's right. all we need to be doing. So we only want multiplication and, addi- and addition, addition in this. Yeah. That's it. In this That's shit. It. Facts. That's it, as they say. Yeah. That's it. Hell yeah. Yo, Snooze Daily, World of Rama, Grind Hard TV. Salute to my guy. I say my teammate because we make up Sunday fun yes. day. Let That's me tell y'all. <laughs> um, you know, we film back to back. On Sundays, it be popping in here. Yeah, it do. It do. It definitely be popping. The salute. And I like how you doll up the table and everything with your designs and stuff. Listen, we you in the house? You got to make you make you comfortable. You know, Uh, you can't be in no empty ass apartment. Yeah, we not doing that. See, I'm from the bottom though, so I sleep on the mattress on the floor. (laughs) You know what it is? Had a closet. Listen, I'm from the hood, but I'm from Queens. You know, so that's a a fact. It's a different kind of hood. You yeah, know? it is, but I'm like grimy, so I I See? make it work. That's why I ain't gonna front when I go do shows in different cities. I love like being in like the regular community, the hood. Yeah, like, the lap yeah. of luxury is good too yeah. to experience, but it's good to experience. Even when the I hood. go to these tropical places, people be looking at me like, "What?" I'm like, "Listen, I feel less comfortable in them resorts." I rather, you know, mm-hmm. grab somebody I know that's from there right. and be go like, to the let's town. be out, you know, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's see. Go. You want to see the real Especially, place? I want to see the real. I want to see how real people live, and I want to see. I want to hear the real music. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be with these show tune shit mm-hmm. that you trying to get. Because when you in a resort, you just in a, a resort. You're not yeah, seeing the town. You're not seeing the place. That's not right. all. You're we, not we seeing the place. Times. You're not eat the food. Uh-huh. You know, Fill you're up not your seeing belly. them things. You're not seeing it. So <laughs> I want to see. You yeah. know, I want to see. So it's all good for me. Um, especially when it comes to music, I want to go see the nightlife. Right. I want to see Word. what kind of music they listen to, how they DJs, you know, salute to my DJs. You know, I love right. my DJs. Um, I want to see how the DJs rocking in these other places. See what um, they're playing. Yeah. I want to see. Cause you'd be surprised. Oh, I know. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, you be, be surprised. surprised. I've been to a, I've been to a lot of different little Caribbean islands, and I've been like in the town mm-hmm. with the people. They and, hooked up like yo, old school. It's, it's dope. It's yeah, dope you when you got, yeah. when you from the hood in New York yeah. or the uh, the states. Like when you go to other places, you're comfortable in their hood yeah. because yeah. you know you that's yeah. you you're comfortable with that. Yeah, and plus it, what they say if you don't make it here, you can make exactly. it anywhere. Yeah, so, I can make it everywhere, anywhere, everywhere, you know what I'm right. everywhere. Okay, I wanna I, I wanna get into y'all individually because I definitely y'all definitely have a lot going on and we have a lot yeah. to cover. <laughs> All right, um, snooze. Yeah. What's good with you? I'm just chilling, man. And just you know, we just dropped the Beast and Wolverine video. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to Phantom. Yeah, you know, salute to Phantom um, of the Beat. Well, he, to he's Ryan House Rector. of Hip Hop family. We gonna have him back through soon. You know, what I mean, we did we did that. Um, I actually just dropped a mixtape called The Movement, um, hosted by DJ Cool Kid. Okay. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's family too. This is yeah. the DJ Cool Kid. You know what I'm saying? Then um, shout out to the mixtape addict from London, Paris. Okay. Paris, France, because we're working yeah, on the EP right when now. When I talk about wanting to go places to hear real hip hop, that is one thing I want to do is go to London and go to their hip hop underground hip-hop shit. Yo, I'm dying, too. I can't wait. Well, you know... I got shit saved on uh, Airbnb already. Oh, it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yo, the dude that produced my record, My Flowers, he's actually from London. Yo. And he okay. keep telling me, oh, yo, bring me to the States. So I'm gonna probably fly him up here. Listen, Once we go I'm in... The, ready. Because... Not to cut into your, your you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, your yeah, time, yeah. but um, next week we're going to be in Miami for the Coast to Coast competition for 50000 mm. And it's with that song. Me and Leach going out there the 10th to the 14th. They nice. conference. You know what I'm saying? So 
He's like, yo, son, I hope you win that so you could fly me out to New York. And yeah, I would. Yeah. We win. I'm going to fly him out here and we're going to vibe. We're going to come on the show. Yeah. Everything. And we got production for everybody. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is this is that London production. Yes. We got, um, I know a couple of um, producers from overseas. Right. And they rock with us over here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They so, love us. Yeah. But, and um, I, that song is actually out on Phantom of the Beats platform. Like, see? And the music. Yeah. I got, so. I, I've been having a lot of artists lately that, you know, got Phantom all over it. Yeah, so yeah, salute so to Phantom. Phantom, Phantom is man. doing his yeah, thing, man. He, yeah. He came through early in the House of Hip Hop mm-hmm. era. It came through nice with Ron Rucker. Salute to y'all. I'm going to have Ron Rucker he's back on. The, he's actually on the Beast and Wolverine record, yeah, too. Yeah. See? You know what I mean? That's it's my all bro. family. It's all Word. a circle in yeah. this Bob game. I'm but, I'm I'm kind of the new Jack in the circle right okay. now. Okay, I mean okay. Not, I'm more new not, Jack than not you. Not new Jack, new Jack, but it's been two years now. But okay. I'm kind of the new dude. You've been crew. busy in two years. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's 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 kind of funny because at first you know sometimes when you're the new dude you kind of want to see where you fit in, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know everybody just kind of because there's a squad over there. Yeah, and it's everybody just kind of, you know, welcomed me with open arms and showed me my love and everything just fell in. Because, like, Beast Wolverine record, we didn't even plan it. It just kind of happened. You that's know what I'm saying? That's some of the best ones. Yeah, we, you know, Phantom Call, like, yo, what you doing? We came out to chill. Record was there. They put the beat on. The rest is kind of history. So. Nice. Nice. It's just one of those things. It's more energy and feel. Yes. You know what I mean, but um, like I've been having a I've been having a ball. Yeah, I could then, tell. You know, like <laughs> World well, Rama I met. You know, he's in the old Lord video from mm-hmm. like, that yeah. the, the Phantom joint we dropped last year. Mm-hmm. One of my so, favorite snooze records right there, old Lord. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I got I got a joint called Girl Six, which is gonna play a little later. That's, yes, we that's are. A little bit for the grown and Gotta mature. tune in the S Three Media. You know what yes, I mean? we are. So. I just been working, just trying to touch all aspects of music and just give everybody what I feel is, you know, the dope part of me in music. Mm-hmm. And what do you consider your style to be? My style is more just relative music. I call it life turning the bars. Okay. You know what I mean? It's what I live. I can come home, have a bad day. I'm going to tell the story about it. You're going to get it. I'm going to, you know, have mm-hmm. a good day, tell the story about it. Yeah. Something I've seen. It's all about feel, man. Sometimes, you know, things you go through, things that you see your peoples go through. Mm-hmm. It's just life. That's what I talk about. I just put it in the form of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Storytelling. I love it. You've been busy in the last two years. Like I said, salute to MJ. She keeps me abreast of everything that's going on. Um, you've had some shows going on too. Right? I've done some shows with mm-hmm. um, at Street Media, Math, mm-hmm. Life of Morris, um, Watch Mondays. Mm-hmm. You know, Long Island Concert Series. Shout out to my boy DC because he throws out the. Yes. Um, so to my it gives, Long it gives a Long Island artist a look. You know what I mean with the. Um, platform for them mm-hmm. to perform and stuff like that so we got the long island music awards coming up nice. on the 26th Who, who's doing month. that that is that with uh that's dc you see okay when nice. is that that's november 26th oh yeah i i, I gotta have to pull I up i think it's that. december 26th i'm bugging it's day after christmas day after oh, christmas yeah. Yeah. okay but um you know like he been doing it i am strong island like that's just yes. what i do for like last 30 years so you know what I mean? Whenever he's doing a show, he'll reach out if he got something going on. Plus, you know, he got the store with the clothing line, so yeah. he did give me a minute mixtape. That was, you know, like the beginning, of, like that was like the middle of last year mm-hmm. for his clothing line. He did okay. he put out a mixtape, and it was promoted on um, Instagram because, you know, all the posts could only be a minute. So it yes. was called Give Me a Minute Mixtape. Nice. And, you know, it was dope. And I just had fun doing it with him now. You know, he got a couple artists he's been working with, some dope artists in Long Island. My brother Max Bond, okay. Sean Haynes, you know, they got music they just dropped. You know, Just Call Me Out. He's been on the um, Grind Hard TV yeah, podcast. Yeah, he definitely okay. gave him my joint. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a freestyle The whole team out with him. working. Like, I got, I got my brothers out in Compton, you know, unaffiliated nice. Mad Squad. We got a couple of joints we about to drop. For the end of the year okay, and the beginning of the year, okay. so 
I just been working, man, and I work with anybody as long as it makes sense. It it can't be make it make just a sense. bunch of jibber jabber on the on the beat. I'm Word. not with that. <laughs> he said what he said. <laughs> I love it. Long Island. Aren't you born in Queens? Born in Queens. Mm-hmm. Old Booth Memorial mm-hmm. Hospital. Mm-hmm. That's Raised in Long them. Island, and well, like, just been in Long Island most times. of my life, but. You know what I mean? I'm I'm one of those people. I go in, I go anywhere. I'm not one of those people that stay mm-hmm. stay stationary. I like to go different places. So I'm getting my passport ready because we about to try and I go know, to London, right. Paris this year to do. You know, you next the, year. The, well, next year to get this uh, EP done and shoot. Oh, some so you footage. flying out there in London? To nah, do we job. doing it here, but I'm gonna go out there and shoot a video for a couple oh, of the okay. joints yes. out there. Yes, and you know, yes. just, so just let me know when you go, son, because I definitely want to go out there too. I'll, 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 I'll pop well, out. We all, we all going. I'll pop out for real because I got my man now. out there in London. The dude who produced yeah. my flowers. And uh, he do a radio show out there and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it's a lot of stuff that's going on, man. Like, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll pull out. You know what I mean? We pulling so, up overseas. Yeah, Y'all I'm better just, watch. We pulling up. I'm just working <laughs> right now. I just want to give a shout out to this young kid, um, Brendel Beats. Okay, you know salute saying? to Brendel Beats. He, he's, he's a hungry producer, so y'all need to check him out. Okay. You know what I mean? No, no. No disrespect to him, but he's one of those hungry, annoying producers that hits you up every day. <laughs> That's and good. He got Sometimes some you need music, that. but That's they say DJ you Khaled know what I mean? Is, uh... Like he just he, he you could tell he's hungry. I ain't, you know I ain't got no problem with him. It's just like I've been there, mm. so I identify with it. So mm. I just wanted to give him a shout out because he got some dope music. I need to check him out. Nice Brendel Beats on Instagram. Just give him a shout. You know what I'm saying? He got some dope music. We got some things we're about to work on, too. So you're about to make him hot in the States right now, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Like, the whole thing is, man, I got a couple of producers because there's a producer, Sugar Beats from Moscow, Russia. He just sent me, like, 18 nice. jokes. Sugar you Beats, I mean? that's a dope name. Wow. And um, You know, I like it. <laughs> you know, the thing is, it's dope when you you have artists because, like, when they, when they hit me up, it's mostly more like, Yo, what kind of beat you want? And I'll uh-huh. tell them okay. what kind of beats. Send me what kind of beat you think you want to hear me on, mm-hmm. opposed to sending me what I like. Right. What you, know you what think mean? I that, like? That way I could kind of broaden my horizon and never know what, you know, they might send you something. I got a joint that's coming up called Bounce that we're about to release soon. You know, shout out to Young Devante, a YouTube producer that I've been right. working with. And he got a sound that's just out of this world. So, okay. you know what I mean? Listen, I, I'm open to it. If it's dope, it's dope. I'm open to it. Be I'm just working. It. Like, yeah. I'm, it got to make sense. And if it makes sense, then let's make dollars. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You know, it make that. that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Dollars. Right. Dollars and opportunity. That's all that makes sense to me. That's well, how I am. I, I don't mind working with nobody like. A lot of people, you know, sometimes... Y'all did something together? Not yet. We've been working mm. on that, but not yet. You heard that, Snooze? I know, right? Mm. She asked us, did we do something together? I know, right? We but we've been around each other, though. like, you would think that I'm we would have something together. I'm going to just sit here and sip my At drink. one point, me and Snooze was in the same camp, Phantom Music, because mm. I got my flowers on Phantom Music. He's a definitely affiliate of Phantom Music. We were supposed to have a record together. Mm. We ain't get there yet. It but this guy got about 15 new records out right now. Hmm. Yo, I just, because I be working. And, listen, hmm. I see you everywhere. You I, ain't seeing me in the studio session. Yo, that's what I'm like, talking about. You ain't you ain't see me I wasn't going to say it. I was waiting for him to I say could come it. In there I, and, and I lay took something a page down. out of his book. That's I'm why saying. I be working the way I work. I, mean, I'm I so, see how he I'm moves. sorry. I ain't mean to start. Well, no, we, here we are on our shows together. I'm just saying. Right. Well, my, whole thing is, my whole thing is with world, like, I I'm think it, I think it will be a little bit crazy. It will. A little bit. I little think it will be, be a little insane. bit crazy. But like with, with the mine. bars and the, 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 the beat well, selections that we have, like, it's like. All I want is a shout out for making this happen. Right. This, and this was like in the. Uh, it's been in making for the last yeah. two and a half years. Mm, I exactly. just spoke it into that. Did you see? I was sitting here yeah. like. But you know what? Yeah. I think what we're doing here right now. This is so perfect because 
you actually already wanted me to come on your show as yes, a guest. And yes. you wanted me to be here by myself. Yes. So it just so happens that your guest was Snooze and he walked in. Yeah. Because my show was before your show. Yes. So as soon as I'm seeing my guy, I'm like, yo, Snooze, what's up? Sit down. So I'm just like, I walk in and I'm like, all right, I tried, but I right. guess this is how it's supposed to right, happen. Right. <laughs> so let me just let it happen. Yeah. yeah. So oh, it's like we on. actually have Snooze on both shows today and now you're on my show uh-huh. and now I'm on your show uh-huh. and, uh-huh. and it's all fam and you know yep. what I mean that's endless exposure for everyone yes uh-huh. and it's just love because support you know what I mean we have to be here for you each know each other each other support the people that support you that's yeah. how I feel about it I ain't it. gonna front I wanna shout out Math because you know I love when I send him stuff or I'm posting something and he definitely reposted on Word. like a bunch of yeah. pages to show you always. like yeah. we all supporting the home team that's why yeah. I always promote you know what I'm saying and I yeah. like to promote the stuff like closer to the event yeah. so I don't go extra hard all week and stuff yeah. like that I'll post it right before so mm-hmm. niggas know like this is what's happening this tomorrow on. Y'all be there Like this, this shit gonna be gonna lit on. And then they'll see my live Cause I'll pull up And then mm-hmm. I'll do lives And people's performances Will be on my page And they'll be like Oh we, 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 we You ain't let us know I'll let you know I nigga. did on, You and everybody you know, else you know, did, All these people that subscribed I let Listen. everybody know That's why I You know yeah, Spicy I, Sugar You and I both know That at this point right now People are f- Definitely aware of what's going on through yeah, S Street Media. Man, you see what you want to see. Yeah. You can see what I can see. Exactly. Yeah. You're, You're blind, blind baby. baby. You're blind yeah. to the fact. <laughs> that's all so, I'm saying. That's it. I ain't gonna say that though. Here I go. Here I go. Here you I see? go. <laughs> <laughs> Grind Hard TV. Yes. Yes. World of Rama. Facts. Yeah, um, I very incognito way. Had y'all to do the only um, tradition that I have on this show, Mm -hmm. and that is to introduce yourself to the people. Right. Y'all did that oh so eloquently. Yes. We veterans in this. That's right. (laughs) So I don't have to really, I was like, all right, if this is the way it's going, how it's going to go. God damn it. Um, But tell, you did the two, I say them separately because they're one and the same, but they're two very different movements. Right. World of Rama. Grind Hard TV. Correct. You know, they the same, one and the same, but two very yeah. different forces. Right. So um, I'm very happy that you're here to explain it. Yes. So please explain it for the people. Okay. So <laughs> World Rama is an artist and a marketing guru. You know Meow. what I'm saying? And um, Grind Hard is a production that... World of Rama produces. That's and I also outsource and get other producers, as you see for the new Queens Get the Money video yes. and the Flowers video. I outsource other directors to come in and I'll just direct stuff. But mm-hmm. Grand Hard Productions and Grand Hard TV, that's something that's been on in New York City and now all over the world for 18 years. Yes, and nice. Yes, we're in our 18th anniversary. Christmas Day would be the first day we aired on TV now, in give 2004. It up for that. Yes. So now that we in 2022, that, is that get that makes us 18 years that 18 we still years. on and relevant. Clearly, we are still relevant. We're still relevant. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about that, and I'm so excited about it that like for this anniversary, I really want to start putting the show back on public access because that's where we really okay. even started. Okay. And I know like the type of promotion that we got from being on public access that people mm-hmm. just be flicking through their channels like I know mm-hmm. now everybody be on their phone and they be on cable mm-hmm. but you know like sometimes people will just be watching the regular channels and mm-hmm. they'll see the show on there and and, and you around you in hundreds of thousands of homes if not millions because everybody who has cable can see public access in New York City yes. so I want to put I'm thinking about like really putting it back on public access as well because we're on so many other subscription TVs, Glue TV, UBC TV yeah, network, tell them how many S Street you, Media. Yeah. Like I'm in like tens of millions of homes right now on social yeah. you know, on subscription TV. So I'm producing for a lot of networks. I always tell people I'm like the young Tyler Perry out this month. Okay, I'm okay. producing for other networks, and me and you are label mates on S Street Media yes. producing park. Podcast, so absolutely, you know what I mean. I produce the podcast. Well, I don't produce it, but I have a podcast produced it by S Street Media and Style by Poverty on this platform as well. Yeah, so I, I'm putting out content all over the place, man. But 
world Rama is still an artist yes. that puts out bangers that's flourishing crazy and, yes. and you know what I'm saying? And and we want to talk about yes, that Yes, definitely. We're going to get into that. That's why I said I wanted to talk about Grand Hard TV yes. as a separate entity because mm-hmm. it's definitely an a entity yes. in and of itself. And then I want to go to world Rama yes. because people see a lot of Grand Hard TV mm-hmm. and the force behind it, but right. world Rama got its, its, its own entity in and of itself. Right. And that is pure hip hop. That yes. is, you know, from the the gutter, the gutter. Right. Yeah, that's we from were that golden about era. Like, yes, early. You know I'm saying though, so I've been rapping for like I started off again. Like I, I always tell this story all the time, and I'm so happy to always still be able to tell it. But mm-hmm. I started off as like a hip hop dancer. Okay. Like, you know, Big Daddy Kane had Scoob and Scrap, yes. Sean and Kenny was G Rap Dancers, yep. Peekaboo for Salt and Pepper, yes. uh, you know what I mean? Heavy D and the Boys. Yes. Well, it was Young World. My okay. boy Young and I was World, and okay. we danced for Lady of Rage. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And this is before she went to Cali to be down with nice. Dr. Dre. She came from Virginia and she came to New York and she was messing with or managed by one of our OGs, God Body, Shaquem. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know him now as Russian online. He goes under Russian. Okay. He has a okay. he has a hat line called Kings something. Kings and Queens something, whatever. I don't know exactly. I don't want to give it the wrong name. But anyway, mm-hmm. he was managing her and dealing with her. And okay. she needed dances because back then it was a dance time. And Snooze know that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I said. And um, so we was doing routines and everything for her and everything like that and mm-hmm. we just knew that we was about to pop with Lady of Rage yes. and with us being her dancers Boy. and then out of nowhere you know Dre summoned her, however that went mm-hmm. and she went out there and <laughs> did the whole rough fin stuff did with my Afro, Afro puffs hey. and on with your bad self yes. so you know since Robin dipped on us and went yes. and did her thing and followed her dream. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Robin, Lady yeah. of Rage, you know what I'm saying? It's all mm-hmm. love. It's part of my story, though. I obviously started rapping, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And this is when me and DJ Mr. Sinister, if anybody that knows okay, in the game. Okay, salute like, to Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister from He's the Executioners. One. Yes. Yep. So he was trying to get into DJing and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And my boy Prince, a.k.a. Taboo, who's my guy to this day, okay. he had some um, Gemini... Uh, turntables that he got I think from his mm-hmm. uncle or his grandfather or something like that and he didn't really want to do nothing with them so I brought him down to Sinister's house Okay. and Sinister now had these turntables to practice which turned him into the yes. DJ guru that he is to this what? day he so I didn't help niggas careers day, from the beginning if y'all don't know about DJ Sinister he still yes. go live and he oh, yeah. is nasty he still be on live doing them yes, routines like I've seen him nasty. shout out Mr. Sinister I think his birthday just passed or something like All that alright yes shout he's out nasty. Mr. Sinister at all. that was my guy that I came in the game with rapping and, sh- and stuff mm. uh, it was me and Pliz we was ill distraction back in the day First, we was Rough and Rugged. Then we changed our name to Ill Distraction. I love the names. And in 95, we put out a single called No MCs. Mm. No MCs could move me. No MCs sound like Ill Distraction, do like we do. So, mm. people that know about that single from back in the days, that single was crazy. Right now, it sells for over $200 per wax. Oh, Like God. it's a collector's item. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And then. The year that right after that, I dropped my brother's single, Cuckoo the Bag of Bones. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we started oh, our own man. little imprint. And just recently, this year is like the 20th anniversary of an album that me and Cuckoo put out in like 2001 or two or something like that. It, has it was like to 2002 be we dropped it, but we recorded it between 99 and mm. 2002. And it's a 20 year anniversary to that joint. And that's called Insane Psycho Home, the LP. And that's out right now. That came out on, I think it was Angola Music or something like that. Or oh, we put a lot of records out, a lot of material. We got mass okay. singles out. We were signed to, you know what I'm saying, Oliver Stum with you, you got history. Liquid Soul Music. I, I worked at Mad Soul Clothing for about five years. Me and Mark D'Amelio. If y'all look on my page, I just was at his birthday celebration this weekend. Mm. I, I was like Liddy. Him and his daughter. And if y'all know the Milio family, that's the biggest family on TikTok. They got yeah. the new second season on Hulu. Those is my family. Mm-hmm. I'm connected with a lot of people. Man. Nice. So I'm still out here doing my own thing. You making are. Making it happen. You know what I'm you saying? Are. And you I love putting around. music out. I love making music dope 
MC in music. So well, it's like you were saying earlier, you it's weird for you to be on that side yeah. of the table but. because um, you know, grind like I said, grind hard. TV is such a machine yes. that you don't very often get to sit down and yes. be world. So, world. hi, world. Yo, thank you. Hey, thank you for having <laughs> World Arama on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not no time where I go places and I am and I don't talk about Grind Hard because that's yes. like a major part of, you know what I'm saying, my history. But yes. sometimes I just be wanting to be World Arama. Yes. You're you going to get World Arama. Grind Hard TV, we're going to give you all the information for that because yeah. this is my... My taping Sunday fun day, yeah. we, as he said on his yeah. show, co co defendant. Yeah, I'm here. We be here exactly, knocking it out on a Sunday night. Have to, and sometimes I don't be showing up. I know I don't be showing up because I be on like on location a lot of times. Yeah, like you about so, yeah. to be in Miami. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna be at Coast to Coast next week doing a Groundhog TV podcast on location out there, winning that fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying. saying? <laughs> That's what we going out there to do. We yeah. going out there to win, I mean, and network is crazy because I'm going. Actually, um, uh, Zaytoven, the the big time producer, Zaytoven, that will be at the um, the event. Since I promote so hard and market, yeah. he's been reaching out to me. Absolutely. So we've been kind of like talking and stuff like that Absolutely. because you know what I mean. Like I don't know if what the other artist is doing, but I'm 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 a conglomerate machine in myself. Let me so. tell you something. Networking, I've always believed networking can get you into doors yes, that who you know a, a, that you would ordinarily never be in. Right. I know it has for me. Yes, so. and you've definitely been connected for a long time because yeah. Spicy Sugar, before we even ever worked together, I already knew about you from either people talking or from your freckles. Yeah, I yes. was like, who's that light-skinned girl with all of the freckles I see at everything backstage with all of the celebrities? It's me. You know what I'm saying? So this was a while ago, too. So And that's when I wasn't even doing podcasting mm -hmm. yet. I was doing PR yeah. work. Yeah, uh, so. I would always see you around yeah. and stuff like that before. Salute to went. SB Entertainment. Word. You know what it is. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we work in. We work in. We have to. And I'm blessed, you know, to, to be back here. I'm blessed to um, have S Street Media, you know, as my family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm blessed to still be in the circle of, you know, hip hop that I'm in. I right. just, you know, people... You get it or you don't. But I always say it, hip hop is a religion. It, you love it. Yeah, it's not just like you know a. I mean? It's a religion. Yes. Like we grew up on this. This is yes. what we know. Everything mm -hmm. from the fashion down to go just the clubbing aspect of it. When you hit up the clubs yes. every night and going to these yeah. little parties and doing stuff like it's it's like a whole lifestyle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I still follow DJs. I'm trying yeah. to tell y'all. Salute to DJ Ty Boogie. Shout he, out Ty Boogie. He, heist, he hosted my birthday party this year. Oh, that's what's uh, up. Got fucking crazy. I know he was talking about me. I heard <laughs> you was talking about me, Ty. You know what's so crazy? It's my birthday. I don't care. I'll shake my ass if I want to. Yeah. Thank Do you. what you want. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> well, I just dropped the episode two with Ty Boogie and SNS. And young salute. SNS. So salute, salute to, to SNS because he's about to be at an event this weekend. Salute to Will Thomas, a new movement event. I'm about to get real fancy this weekend. Okay. okay. We about to go to an all black gala Ooh. at Melrose Ballroom. You got your dress already? Already heels. Uh -huh. <laughs> everything I'm already ready to get. Okay. Uh, and that's it, this weekend coming up? That's this weekend. Oh, well, I won't be around for that. Y'all going to see the pictures. I will. I will. Right. You there representing you, you yeah, SG Media, so I know you're going to do your thing. Yes, I'm going. We there. Tell, tell, it's tell. going to be DJ SNS. Um, DJ. Oh, my God. Please help me. I know it's SNS. It's Ty Boogie, and it's somebody else. Well, tell SNS and Ty Boogie that there's a new episode on Grand Hard TV, Glue TV on Roku. With, with them, them in it, and him, his I'll moms, his son, with everybody. When we was in Coney you. Island, so they I know. I got you. Tell them. I got you. out. I'm going to tag them in what? the in the clip, too. Exactly. We like, he told, he said what exactly. he said. I said it. I said there. what I said. Y'all yeah. there. He don't don't yeah. be like, I ain't know. You know. Yeah. Who told you. It's out, it's Thank out you. There. It's a fact. But, yeah, so we're going to have a good time with SNS yeah. this yeah. weekend. He's a good brother, man. Wait. Good brother. And a legend in the game. Came up on Living the tapes. Hell yeah. I'm going to try to stay pretty, y'all. But, you know, once they start, 
do anything on well, the you had, you didn't have you didn't I'm have fun. Sweat it all out. You know, I don't care anyway. Right. I got here. I'll take a wig off. Exactly. I don't there care. You know. I don't care. I Yo, that's hair. weird you said that because a lot of women that wear wigs and weaves got hair. Yeah. It's it, it's we wear it for the initial purpose that it was created for. You right. know that, right? To, to long... protect your hair. You could do other styles without raking your hair out. Oh, okay. You just throw a wig on. Mm. But now bitches want to act like it came out they scalp. That's the oh, problem. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why they got the lace front mm -hmm. so it could look like it. Mm -hmm. You put you gluing ball caps to your head. Listen, do so. what you want to do, but I need to be able to hang it up on a hook at the end of the night. I'm not, I want my hair to breathe, you mm. know. I put the oils and the deep conditioners down in there. Right. So it need to breathe. I am not... I am not cementing nobody's hair to my head. Wow. The best I'm going to do is braids. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy to me how women do some of the things. But they listen, do. them people don't have no hair. Mm. <laughs> when they put it on for like and weld it down there for days, either they want that style, you know, because these wigs is a lot of money. Yes. A whole lot of money. I remember back in the days in the 70s and the 80s, my mom used to have mad wigs and yeah, stuff like that. Man. You know, it was it was okay. It wasn't no big deal. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of things was wasn't yeah. a big deal back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah but now you go front some shit. Things now are like big, big deals. Yeah. It's like gigantic. You know the the money that people making off of the cosmetic industry billions. is like billions. billions. Well, it was millions back when Smack right. CJ Walker right. did it, and they so. had the the K. What's the ladies that Mary Kay. Mary Kay and yo, Avon and all that shit. Yo, there's. There's at least a hundred thousand different makeup yeah. companies out Yo, that, there. This now. is why the Kardashians and Rihanna are billionaires Listen, because of the makeup. Kylie industry. had a whole vending machine and malls yeah. with her makeup in it. Just yeah. put your card in, get a four hundred dollar lipstick. Like yeah. a, whatever. Uh, raking up, you got like the thing is, it's become another form of art because you got these makeup artists. Absolutely. Doing, Absolutely. They don't just do regular makeup no nah, more. They are mad, into extravagant. Art, yeah. It is an art form now. I was just watching a show. They have a whole competition where they competing for fifty thousand dollars. Oh well, I'm about to go compete for fifty thousand dollars next and week. Coast contract, to coast. Contracts with all these big time makeup make people. Up, make yeah, but you gotta be careful with that too, because now you got the dudes out here that's doing it and well, they, they looking like women out too, here. Like, Faking um, off and shit. Listen, them drag queens got all the makeups. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, all of them. Well, yeah, they got all the makeups. What? They, they, listen, I've seen men pull up to events and stuff with a beat that made me jealous, and I know how to do makeup. Right. They, I was like, damn, my shit looked like some Crayola crayon shit compared right. to that. Listen. I don't give it to nobody, but I'm Did telling you, the drag queens know how to do some makeup. I got a question for you. Since you've grown throughout your whole life with freckles, did you ever go through a phase where you would like wear makeup to try to like cover it? Nah, up or I got like that? the type of freckles that if I right. did, I would look like I had crematory makeup on. <laughs> I look like I'm be dead. Look at me. Look at my freckles. Like, right. You know how much makeup I would have to cake on my face yeah. to cover these up. Yeah, your whole I've face will have to be done. I've done it like twice. And I ain't looked I ain't like the way my face looked. Mm. And I was like, this a lot of space. Right. With nothing in it. I know why you put these here. Because I would have a lot of face. Right. Without these freckles. Mm. You know what I mean? It would just be face. Big old yellow face. It wasn't. Mm. I remember because we used to tour a lot and me and Mike Hands, you did a lot of events. And he's so your other freckle face. You're crazy that you said that yeah, because you know that's how we met? Yeah. Freckles. We met because of our freckles. Mm -hmm. We saw each other in a crowd at an event across the room and we started looking at each other all kind of crazy. Right. Like, this nigga related to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at, and we're looking at each other the exact same way. Finally, mm. we made it to each other like, Looking at each other like, what the fuck? There's another one. Yeah. And then he went and ran and got his wife and was like, look, she got freckles too. We was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that's literally. And now that is my bro. He is yeah. like one of the biggest house of hip hop podcast oh, supporters yeah. I got. Um, yo, guy. but that's wow. literally how we met. Yeah. 
See? That's and that's how I know because he it would always always something would always come up about his freckles or we would talk that about he would say something about his freckles. Literally how we met. And but. what's the craziest thing about me and my freckles is I had no freckles on my face till I was about five. Mm. I had like maybe one or two on my cheek. My grandfather was the one who started all this shit. Mm. He literally had a couple on his, the bridge of his nose and like a couple on his arm. My mother and me look exactly alike, except for she's redhead with red freckles. She is a, the firstborn, and he, she's like this, black, mm. all over the place. Then it's me. I'm her only child, black. Mm. Nobody else in my family look like me and her. So do you have they, children? My, no, you, okay. no, uh-uh. No. Are you going to have any? No, 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 oh, okay. no, no. I'm auntie for life. I'm auntie for life. Okay. Auntie for life. Club auntie. Auntie for life. That's it. Mm-mm. Uh, salute to all the mothers out there. I'm not doing it. Um, I'm going to take y'all kids. I'll be so how does good it to feel? them and I'll how do you, what, do you, what do you do on Mother's Day? You just take out your nephews and nieces or you, you, sh- you show so love to I, them? So it's crazy. I'm an only child. Okay. And I do have some half brothers and sisters because my papa is... A Rolling Stone? Puerto Rican. Okay. And um, I didn't meet my nephews till he was grown. Oh, Okay. So I'm I didn't I didn't go through all of that. Oh right. yeah. But I'm good with kids, but I'm good with other people's kids. Right. I don't that shop mm-hmm. is closed. I'm good. I'm all the way good on that. Okay. Yes. Just was asking. Yes. Yes, I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. How I'll be an interview on my own motherfucking show, I don't know. <laughs> but um, that's how that's what happens when you have two podcasters on the same motherfucking yeah. show. But I'm on the artist side, so that just yes. came out like unsporadically yeah. or yeah. like unintentionally. No, everybody, listen, everybody know how I feel about yeah. it. You know, shout out to all the mothers out there. I love y'all children. I treat them like my own. I sugar them up and I send, send them, them back home. to you. Yeah, shout out to all my baby mothers. You know what I like to... <laughs> oh, I did sound right. Yo, I just had to stop in mid-sentence. I was going to say, you know what I like to do for the holidays, though? What? I like to buy the noisiest, most annoying toys and give oh, it out to shit. all the kids. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to play the drums. I always needed a drum set. I got one of, one of my friend's kids, one of them little... Baby guitar things with the piano on it. Wow. Yo, she didn't let me over for like three weeks. <laughs> wow. She was mad at you She was mad at me. Woo. Listen, if he became like some rock star, though. Or for what you did. Hello. Then they owe you a percentage. They owe me all of it. <laughs> you didn't want that toy in your house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I do. I love it. I love kids. I just never wanted any of my own. Yeah, I think my whole thing with kids is, <laughs> it's, I, and it's the baby daddies too. That was a big mm, part. Yeah, because my baby. I wanted a kid with my husband. You was married before? No. Oh, so I've never, never got married. married oh, so then so that's I never why. Had okay, a baby. I got you. I don't want to be nobody, baby mama, and the law does not want me to have a baby daddy. Mm. My freedom don't want me to have a baby daddy. Oh, okay. Because baby daddy issues. Woo! So you out, here ki- you out here killing motherfuckers then, huh? I, d- I don't have no kids, so I ain't killing nobody. I'm just saying, like, I don't you know, wasn't dealing I, with the baby daddy shit, so Listen, the from law, what I've seen, all my people's, men and women going through. You're right. <laughs> you got you to gotta <laughs> mentally be stable to deal with this shit. <laughs> so you're absolutely right. Sometimes it's the choices. No, no, no. That's sometimes it's is, 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 is mm-hmm. that is that sometimes people is just lusting and not really loving. That too. And there's a thin line between love and hate. There is. That's that's like the main <laughs> things. Like Listen, you could think you love I've had that person. Some close but. calls, and I was like, "Thank you, Jesus, you're getting me out of this situation." Because if I had to do it with this one here, my time is limited on the outside, mm-hmm. and I knew it. Yeah. I knew about the status that we were in and the mentality of who I was dealing with. No, right. absolutely not. No. So as long as you knew. My mother want me free. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah, because you definitely think about that a lot when you're going through some traumatic situation Ooh. with somebody. you like, I could just fix all of this this way. I could just. You know what I'm saying? And that'd and it, be it. And it takes a, a sane person to not mm-hmm. do it. 
to yeah. not do it. So I feel yeah. you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so you know that I mean? that kind of was all the birth control I yeah. needed. <laughs> Shout Listen, out to I went to a high smokers. school. Shout out to the people who, you know, had kids when they were teenagers. Because I went to a high school that had two daycare centers and a two and a half year waiting list. Wow. wow. That's a, if that ain't enough to freeze up all your organs, I don't know <laughs> what it is, girl. Because they got a book bag and a baby bag and a stroller and a screaming kid trying to finish their high school. To, what? And, and they had to wait two years to get them in that motherfucker? <laughs> you heard me. Damn. Shout out to Springfield Penitentiary, wow. a.k.a. Springfield Gardens High School. Wow. <laughs> I think if I have, I think if I have any more kids, it's gonna be they gonna be out. Springfield alumni, tell me I'm lying. Out of town, out of country. Tell me I'm lying. I graduate. I I graduated in the at nineties. Tell me I'm lying. Ninety three, class of ninety three. I'm ninety six. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Class of ninety three. Tell me I'm lying. We had the first metal detectors and all of that. Bitches got shot in the eye outside. Like it was crazy. Anyway. Mm. Yeah, that's, I remember seeing it that. It was crazy in my day. I was day, going so. to lean on me, literally. Yes. Yeah. Lean yes. on me. Yes, we back. was. We sure was. The queens, don't get it twisted. Just because they live in houses don't mean what? nothing. Yeah, we had, the, like, that That this, That this. myth was dispelled once that whole Edward Byrne shit happened. Listen. Yo, people got to realize it's not that. It's not where you live. It's the people it's that the live It's the people there. that live there because landlords take Section Roosevelt A. Is, Landlord takes Section A, people. and people come from all over the place. And, you know, when they're not used to the being in a neighborhood, shit go down, okay? We get that all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm funny from Hollis, so yo, I don't People have to be say saying nothing. Roosevelt. That's like, what it is. Roosevelt. Well, what I mean with that? Yeah, what's uh, I said? Roosevelt. I said Roosevelt, oh. Roosevelt ferocious. <laughs> I know about Roosevelt firsthand. My mother used to be a security guard at Roosevelt High School. Oh, so she Where had to protect shit name? out there? Mm-hmm. We look just alike, nigga. I went to I went all the way up to ninety one. She was a uh, yo. One day I Real came proudest. to Roosevelt for a basketball game. She was working. Yo, I had to call her ass because these niggas had me and my home girl cornered in the back, and like like coming from the bathroom in the fucking high school. Wow. <laughs> they was gully out there. It was kind of sexy, but y'all were chip bugging. My mother came around that corner. Them niggas dispersed like roaches. When you turn mm. on the light, they like, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. And, you know, they, I guess my mother was like, ill in there. I don't know. She, she was, was, oh, that's, she that's was that's having respect. Uh, uh, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, they was out of there. <laughs> I got a jersey from um, back in the days when I used to work at Mad Soul, and it was uh, high school jerseys of legend basketball players. And I think it was a Larry Berg Roosevelt jersey. Was it Larry Berg, Berg or or somebody? Doc, was from Dr. Roosevelt Dr. J. High that's what it is. Dr. Dr. J. Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a, yeah. I'm like yeah. from Roosevelt. Yeah, that's Dr. J. Yeah, I got a Dr. J High School yeah. Roosevelt jersey, I've and only I got seen yeah, two. He a Queens guy. I only know about two Long Island people. Anthony Mason is the alma mater of my school. Island, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He played for the Long Island Surfs. Mm-hmm. Before he went to the Knicks. Queen, what you say? Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I ain't gonna take your line from nah, you. Nah, but I'm saying I now. wanted it to do that. I wanted that line yeah. to be like perpendicular with women getting money. Mm -hmm. I really want women to start doing like TikToks to it, showing that they getting money or ah. something like that. Because it could be both ways. We need people we need from a Queens challenge. and women. Queens get the money. Mm -hmm. So let's do, you know what I'm saying? Queens out here, do your thing. Like, let's go. Show us that you're getting money. We need a challenge. Well, yeah. Do a challenge. Oh, uh, Queens get the money challenge. Queens get the money challenge. Let's go. And that means women, not only just people from Queens, but women getting money and yeah. grinding. Yeah. So you would be definitely be dope to set that off. Let's you know, go. the record's on TikTok. All you got to do is get it and oh, post something saying Queens <laughs> get the money. I don't do TikToks. I just watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> But you could go viral on TikTok and shit. I probably could. You know what I'm saying? I probably the, the could. The Milio family, they they grossed 27 million during the pandemic oh. one year. Just one year off of TikTok. Oh, all right. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm playing. Y'all both got some songs out, you know, we've been referencing to. You got mm -hmm. some new shit out. You got mm -hmm. some new shit out. Right. So, um, Snooze, why don't you talk a little bit about... You know, some of the new shit we're going to hear today. All right. Um, you're going to hear The Beast and Wolverine. That's out right now. That's produced by Phantom of the Beat. Mm -hmm. 
featuring Ron Rucker and Jaleesha Sings. Mm -hmm. And then I got a joint called Girl Six, which is produced by PK. And it's uh, one of the new joints I'm about to get ready to put out there. It's out right now, but it's oh, not. I thought shoot you, you got me hyped for a minute. I thought you was about to say. What? We had an exclusive. Yeah, you got an exclusive. Yeah, we popping cherry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's been out for a little while, but it's not been out on any media sites. They got to yeah. go to numberonemusic.com. To All right, so. you heard it first on S Street Media. Yeah, I got a lot of new joints coming out, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But Girl 6 is for, I've been making a lot of like street music. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm about to so, say Girl 6 is for them Girl ladies. Girl 6 is for the ladies, a little grown and mature. I can't wait to hear that, bro. Um, you know it's I mean? a, it's, it's mature, I heard it. Yes, it's <laughs> mature. Are we that today? Are you yeah, we're playing that, that tonight. Hide your wife, hide your kids. It. It's just one of them joints, like, you know, I was reading some of my comments and a couple of the ladies was like, yo, we like your music. They shoot, you shooting it. Some music Pew. for us. So Ew. it was like, all right, well, I got some music. I got something for you, bitch. So, I, you know, <laughs> so that's why you sitting up here with the Versace's on Ew. right now. You like Talk for the ladies. Like, I'll be mm -hmm. honest with you, bro. It's been like this. I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit. Everybody right. know me as Snooze. I'm always laid back. In the cut, I'm the quiet assassin in the room, always. You heard what he said. Quiet assassin. Quiet assassin. That's and I'm always the ones you got telling people, you got to watch the quiet ones. Mm -hmm. So I know quiet ones get up and chop your whole head off. <laughs> Don't say a motherfucking word no more. Or they're still your bitch. You, either one. <laughs> yeah. Chopping your head off both ways. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, head, I like head to and observe head. the room. I'm one of them dudes that go to the club. And go by the speaker and just sit there with a with a mm -hmm. hour and just watch the whole club. Mm -hmm. um, I like to observe things and people how everything's moving. Mm -hmm. well, you got, it's always an ob observation when you at places and doing things. You gotta observe stuff. I think a lot of these newer rappers, they're not observing their surroundings or their situations. Especially with everything that's been happening recently, uh, I think you know. There's more, a lot more to that, you know, guidance. A lot of these young dudes don't really have the guidance. What we had, you mm -hmm. guys had back in the days coming up, like that mm -hmm. we seen. Now, when you say guidance, do you mean like the I mean, older you heads? The old heads that were telling you artist how development. To move. Got yeah, okay. You got so thank you for saying move. those two words. So, because when I first started in the hip hop scene, I was doing PR work. Right. And most of my job was artist development. And when social media came along, um, I had to revamp because all of a sudden artists felt like they didn't, they didn't need, need artist development anymore because the, internet, because was the internet was right there at their hands. But I agree with that. Right. I feel like the major thing that went wrong was that there was no, they discontinued artist development because artist development was so much more than just putting the artist out to be seen. But it was giving them there. an image. It's, it's it was there. showing them how to maneuver in the industry. Mm -hmm. It was how they should maneuver With outside of the industry. Mm -hmm. You think. know, it, there was rules and parameters that were set up for artists to move around and do different things without getting into some of the shit that they get into in modern day but style. But see, that's what this whole millennium social media thing done. It kind of took away that. Took away that. Yes. And there was nothing that could yes. really been done about it. No, nothing you know I mean? at all. That, I mean, that it actually, can, it, it hurted be. things, it but it a, helped things. It because was a casualty. It was like a, yep. what they, a collateral. Yes, it was, collateral, it was collateral damage. damage. That's exactly what I'll it was. I'll say it like yeah. this, though. I think on both sides, because I think a lot of the OGs are not in tune with the technology as the young that cats too. are. That's so, true. So, they get a little frustrated because mm -hmm. they know the footwork that we had to put in back. Mm -hmm. They, you couldn't just push a button and be in front of somebody's face. You had to kind of sneak right. up, stalk dudes. It, it was crazy you had back to be then outside, to try and moving be seen. around at all these different so events. So now you yep. really got the access to be your own PR person yes. and all of that. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I think where it gets messed up is. You know, you got the old heads. Oh, y'all got it easy. You know, we we always want to scream on them, and then they Instead don't want to Instead of trying to learn, respect. learn. But something. I think, like through my travels, of just listening. Yes. 
more than preaching. Sometimes just listening to what they want to do and what they got on their mind and then just trying to help them see that light. And that'll, that'll open the doors where you can talk to them because that's happened with me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the young cats, like, now in my hood, like, I'm kind of like the third part of a prism. And because, like, my boy Crack Val, everybody used to go to him. Right, okay. And then my boy Monster Moop, most of the young mm -hmm. dudes, you know, went to him. Mm -hmm. So now I'm being the third person and me being around both of them and everybody knowing it, I'm kind of like the third person. Mm -hmm. Everybody come to me. And you're probably closer to them in, you know what I'm saying, well, in, in terms of relating, you know, how to do the new shit. I just make myself available. I wouldn't say, because I, I, they teach me more than I teach them. Mm -hmm. I teach them more history of the game and hip-hop opposed to them teaching me how to maneuver in this, with the technology, mm -hmm. where I need, how I need to put stuff here and put stuff there and what sites to use. And yeah, because they know. Like that. So they know. So they know. It's like a one hand wash the other, yes. both wash the face situation. Yes. So I think if more elder rappers mm -hmm. kind of took mm -hmm. that stance, we could make a change. Yeah, I think that's too. It's all about being relative to each other, being able to relate, you know, something in what you're doing to what they're doing and finding a common ground. Because I swear to God, these young ones, as, you know, reckless as people, you know, the older, some of the older generation wants to, you know, deem them as, you can learn so much from them. Well, these, there's know. things that come second mm -hmm. nature to these kids that we. It would take us forever, you know what I'm saying, just to get... They understand these algorithms. They understand these, you know, the how to maneuver your content through these various uh, sites and apps and stuff mm -hmm. to work it to its potential. They know the formula for that. And yeah. I feel like that's one of the biggest things that maybe the older generation... They don't know. Could, they, they could get that and be able to monopolize even more. Um, it's always about working smarter, not harder. Right. The older cats had to work harder at it. The younger kids just got technology, it and it makes it. They figured out. The, with it's the more cerebral it now it than easier. you know what I'm saying. Putting the footwork in. Right. But I feel like both need to be respected. Definitely, Equally. and I think that's where sometimes you drop the ball on mm -hmm. either side because. Even with the nonsense that's going on, you got some of the cats, the elder cats got these young cats out there wilding. Yes. So yeah. On that, I, I, I was listening to, I listened to a lot of other podcasts and stuff like that, and I cannot remember who said it, but they were talking about how some of these older cats be leading some of these younger cats right down and the road to doing camp. into the craziest shit. And it's like, they don't know whether you, they trying to live vicariously through is it a power situation right. like what is it because it's, it's, but that was kind of like since the beginning missing. of the time because when i was younger i would hang out with it like the older god bodies and shit like yeah. that mm -hmm. but me personally myself i was already wild myself so when i would do things around these guys and they would see that they mm. would be like yo this little dude is wild and they and and they kind of kind of gravitated or they kind of gravitated to me mm -hmm. because they knew that I had a heart as a young child. Mm -hmm. So they was like, well, we could have him around because we know he going to hold it down as opposed mm -hmm. to somebody that's five years younger than a group of guys. They're not going to have that dude around if he's timid and he's not showing that initiative like he's a young warrior and shit like that. Because you know, back the thing, in them, you got a lot of these dudes who ain't, ain't those warriors. Right. But they want to emulate that. And, and that's why it just, and comes it, time to be the warrior. But that they shows you exactly why a lot of these dudes do is getting is recklessly yes mm -hmm. recklessly shoot because you can't fight, fight. Right. and then they, you they can't don't fight. hit the person they supposed to hit and they mm -hmm. they hit somebody that ain't got nothing to do with it and then it's this whole big fiasco and my thing is you know a lot of these cats want to be everybody want to be gangster. They watching too oh, many, too to many be, yeah. movies, yo. Like, yo. You know, I think about that with, with this new single that I have out. Because when I say queens get the money, long time, no cash, I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. You know, people can kind of perpetuate and say that I'm promoting violence. It's all about as how you a seasoned things. artist. You know what I'm saying? And I and I and I'm expecting that too. But at the same time, I feel like I'm paying homage to a phenomenal slogan. That was created in hip hop by a legendary artist that 
passed away tragically. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I say tragically, I don't know if it was a real choke off of an egg thing. I don't listen, believe that. Listen. I don't believe that at all. I'm right, like, I'm right there you with you, but so, proceed. But, but me as being a hip hop historian mm-hmm. and being in the game for so long and me mm-hmm. knowing him personally, I wanted to pay homage to him and representing Queens and doing and, and using it as his slogan and making a hit record like that. I feel good about it. So it ain't more so about me talking about the guns because it was real gunny back I'm then. I'm about to say, and it, it was real history. Yeah, like, you know what I'm even though it's the history you don't want to talk about, right. that was real life history with a lot of witnesses to validate and it. And there was no cameras all over the place, so it was even more That's reckless. Right. That's right. Let why me tell you I something. Queens is one of the places that the gunplay changed the whole police department. Mm-hmm. When those niggas shot them two officers... Edward Burns. Sitting in Edward, man. People don't understand Everything that. Everything around the nation changed. Yeah. That's when police stopped being police and they, they started, started being, being military. TNT military, and all of that. The extensions of the military. And that's People don't know the history that like TNT and them undercover officers and all of that, that shit started... From the murder of Edward Burns in South Jamaica, Queens. Let me tell you. That's where it started from. When they did the RICO law, I mean, when Ronald Reagan thing. and them did oh, the RICO hello. and all that, I that started well, from Queens. That, they did that I remember. They did that Listen, I grew up in the Sean Bell. Take down the mob. That was their way of getting. To yes, the absolutely. I remember John Gotti. Yeah, so bro, I'm not even was, gonna. Was, I remember Rico those days. Was, I remember them Fourth of July parties. Them shits was lit. Lit. But I lit. But I remember those days. I remember. Listen. Areas you didn't want to be in. I wasn't allowed to go to Corona. I wasn't allowed. Uh, to go. I wasn't allowed. I School wasn't allowed. of Hard Knocks. That's Corona. Yeah, we the owner. She get sticky. Get the blicky mm-hmm. or the burn of it. Should turn and that'll learn you. I I snuck to Brooklyn every chance I got, but let me go and sneak to some Corona or mm, Middle Village or mm. any of that back in the Somebody day. Mama, like, whoa. That's why when I heard when I heard um. KRS One say all of that stuff about Queens, and you didn't hear a peep from a place called Queens. I was living in Queens, and I'm like, "What does he mean? Like, Excuse we not me, pussy right. out here? Like, what is he that, talking that, about?" At that time, he wasn't saying y'all pussy. It was just the point of the battle with him. And yeah, of course. Yeah, listen, it all is fair in love and war, but yeah, it wasn't that. De- it wasn't that deep when they was battling, like how it, people would take it now. Oh yeah, they pulling and, up to your crib you know I mean? today. Yeah, <laughs> like what? If it was now, then it'd be a lot of. What? Listen, I just want to say, as far as on a hip hop level, Queens had a whole genre. Like when when Mob Nas Nori Capone Nori all these niggas when that when we was out there yeah. like that then we started a whole trend of something. Yes, you know yes. what I'm saying. So nobody can never take that away from what Queens did to hip hop. And I'm not even speaking earlier on with yeah. Run DMC Absolutely. and LL Cool J and Salt and Pepper in the and Coogee I mean, Rap and uh, Molly Mall and the Juice Crew. Like it. it's been so much eras of Queens that's been relevant and creating some type of cultural impact in hip hop that nobody could never say that Queens did not contribute a major part of hip hop. I think that's, that's the it. thing with Long Island too. Well, yeah, they definitely Long Island, yo, Long I we go through it. We go through it with that too. Yes. But, you know what I mean? And like, y'all really like defying about it like, yo, niggas sleeping on Long Island. And you're I mean, right. It's a lot do, of dope I mean, shit coming do, out of Long Island. But I don't really take it personal because I feel like it's, it's, it's just, hard, you know, with the artists that I work with and be around. It's just our time to show them that Long yes. Island is dope. Salute to they DJ had, Shuttle, too. He yeah, shout out Shuttle. the house of hip-hop. Word. And he be doing his thing out there on Long Island. Me and Shuttle, we, we, we've got history together from all the way back from Craig Herring mm. out there. That's you know Long Island, Island King right there. Strong dude. Island hip-hop. Shout out and him. And not Rest only that, sorry to cut you off. It just popped into my head. Salute to the Queen's... Two of Queens, Salt and Pepper, they oh, just yeah. got yes. their star, star on the Hollywood Walk, Walk of, of Fame. Fame. Shout out that. Uh, Salute to that. Salt and Pepper. That's here. Queens in the building. Salt too. and Pepper's here. Salt, so, so, Pepper so, so. and Spinderella exactly. was there. It was exactly. all love. Salute to my guys. You was there too? Sparky D. She was there. She fucking hit me. I was at work, you know, LA oh, okay. time. Right, right, right. But anyway, she's Sparky D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't hang with me. Eh, you hear eh, this, Roxanne? Hey? You're through, girl. I'm stepping you hear all this, over right, you. Sis? Yeah, Ain't I remember no. Sparky D. I seen her. It was a Biz Markie tribute in um, mm-hmm. off of Something Boulevard. 
in the park right up there, yes. Rockaway and something. Yes. And she was there. I got footage of that. Yeah. That's out right that's now. That's my actually. sis. Yeah. Like literally, my mother oh, okay. raised us together. That's oh, word. Yeah, oh, okay. That's my that's big sis. Up. Yeah. Word. All right. Yes, man. That's Shout what. Out that's D. that's where my um, PR work first started. Mm, okay. Salute the sis. Yeah, I've seen Sparky D out there with Ralph McDaniels. Mm, um, salute to Ralph. You know, Cool, uh, cool Vaughn, uh, DJ. Um, cool V. Cool V. Yes. Biz salute, DJ. Salute to Shout DJ out to cool, cool V and all that. Salute to my uncle, um, uh, her very first DJ, you know, um, uncle, well, we call him Poo Poo Juice. Poo Poo Juice? Yeah. Oh, okay. But those, if you know, you know. The right. legend. Right. You know, you know. <laughs> Anyway, we, um, but yeah, salute to the Queens because they just got that. It was beautiful. There was all kind of legends out there. Yo-Yo, Dana Dane, MC Light. They all came um, and paid homage. Who else did yeah. I see in, the, in them videos? There was so many people out there. They had a good turnout. And, and it's in a nice location because you know how they be. On Hollywood Boulevard, Yo, that's the with some that's of them the stars. that's the that's the drug boulevard right there. I've been out to Hollywood a few times. Let me tell you that's how like the upset hood I was the first time I went. I love L.A. I love Hollywood, but how upset was I with bums I, right all on the street right there, laying all over everything? Yep, that's a fact. How you got Aretha Franklin in front of the damn crack spot? Yeah, what are we doing here? Yo, what are we good. doing here? It's real out there. Yep, you got paid for. It. Yeah, and they're not even. Once I found that out, it, it that's lost the scam, all. dude. Everything, yeah, cold, yo. We live in the most money. capitalist country in the world. Oh, Everything, yeah. costs everything's for sale. Everything, Everything is sale. for sale. So I don't even know why. Like sometimes, you know, what I'm saying some people be on some. I don't do the pay for play. I don't do motherfucker. Everything you do, exactly. Everything is for money. Everything. Like, come on, man. Like, stop it. How much I got to pay you? Money opportunity. Don't, record, you know, don't you know this? Is, stop playing That's what this company... How much, I gotta, so country, how, much, how much it costs for you to rotation my record? Like, say come on, it that man. way because oh. Why? It, look, it, it, it looks and sounds bad. But that's exactly what it is from the beginning yeah, of time. That's what it is. But Listen, they, they talking about how it's bad for people to teach... Uh, the white kids about slavery because it makes them feel oh, bad. Oh my god! Why? Because they an- what their ancestors did to so many people. I'm just going. I'm, I'm just. I'm right here with they it. They trying like, to erase listen. it because they don't want to deal with it. I, I listen. I think history should be learned from all aspects. I sat for eight years, twelve. I went to college, so okay. at least twelve years. Well, 12, learning about that side school, right. of it, and I had to struggle to learn the, lies, the other side the first, of it. The school, the first so, twelve years, that's lies. I feel like a semester ain't gonna hurt y'all, but who am I? They don't want the white kids to know about Black History Month. I, I, wow. I don't know. I ain't got none. Well, I ain't got worry is, about none. Some of their kids are worried. holding them accountable about that history. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's the problem. Mom, why did Grandpa do this to them? Why would is they do that? Grandpa wanted them. Yeah, that's the problem. Anyway. Ask your mama. Don't mm-hmm. ask me. Try Jesus, not me. But you know what's so crazy? Let me <laughs> let me let me just say something about this real quick, right? And um, we could move on, or you could elaborate on it. So, the whole curricular system is trying to hide what was done to black people, right? Now, if a black person says something about how the Jews are being segregated or, or being segregated, you see what's happening like right Kyrie now. Irving, Kanye mm-hmm. West, they're just speaking on what's really going on, and they're being condemned and being labeled as anti-Semitic. So it's only okay to cover up the black history, but if if somebody speaks about the Jewish history, they're anti-Semitic and they got to be canceled. Like, what's up with that? I think What's people are missing that? the bigger picture here. And the bigger picture has nothing to do with anti-Semitic or hate speech. It has to do with your freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. If okay. people don't pay attention to that, if they can shut them down for doing that, what you think is next? Y'all seen the list that Kyrie Irving got to complete to come back, right? And listen. Look, we don't have to talk about it, but did you they, see they're it? They're cracking a whip on him. You got to understand, yo, this is the game. You know what it's, I mean? it's, this is this is when you have. It, money. I'm just gonna say one thing about it because I, you know, I know people of all races and be- creeds, beliefs, religions, everything. I just am nervous when one 
person is allowed to speak what they believe or perceive to be their truth and not anyone else. I don't, well, I get worried, you know what I mean? Because I know that I signed up for a place where even though you could say what you want to say, but I don't have to agree with it, but you have the right to feel and say how you feel and what right. to say. Now, if it's going to cause me or my family harm, then that's something different. But if we just have two different views or ideals of the world and life, well, then you have a right, I, just like I got a right. I ain't got to agree with Obviously, you. Obviously, as black people in America, we our rights is never as I equal mean, as anybody else's Well, rights. that's why I say when one person is allowed right. to have that right and not anyone else, I mean, that's when about- it gets to be... Um, and I'm not just, and I, you know, I don't care about whether it's anti-Semitic or anti-gay um, or anti, I don't care what it is. If it's anti-allowing a person to feel how they want to feel, I get worried. So should we be okay when white people is anti-black? No, I mean, that's I mean, what I said. I get all worried. The time, bro. They I, be all, I mean, that's the thing. Everybody's crying about anti-Semitic, but they do it all the time on TV. It's a different struggle. On yeah. everything, it's and nobody struggle. says nothing, but as soon as, you know, certain black people person say certain, and that's, they, that's they certain come, people. As soon as black people, we say your something place, about it. Boy. That's the only they cracking a the whip on Kyrie it. Ari. Like, I, they, yeah, he man. is being treated like a straight slave, and they saying, you got to jump through these hoops and do what the fuck we say to get back well, on the chair. Well, it's not only Kyrie Irving. Kanye we could, West, too. We could bring it back to hip-hop. Look what they doing with all of these, um, you know, artists that they're holding their lyrics against them. Like, you can't even speak in an art form now. So that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what when I one person or one group of people are mm-hmm. allowed to speak the way they want to and nobody else is allowed to speak the way they want to, it's a problem. Yes. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's, you know, somebody. I don't care what anti you speak in. Right. Everybody has the right to feel how they want to feel. It's whether you act in harm by mm. or, to anyone else. That's where. And who know, are the people that's always quick to harm other nationalities over that? Like, we we already know that. Well, you know, our black people, our own people, we are kind of like against each other on some self hatred stuff. But who is the race that is always out there killing other races because they're in they fear of their bro. race being diminished? Listen. It's I don't have promote. no statistics on that. I deal with the facts. I'm not going to say who I think it is because who is it? It, it, it may not be. It may be a different story. What I'm saying is that any race, any nationality, black, white, any anybody, when you try to shut down the ideal of another person or another group of people, another type of person, um, there's something to be worried about by everybody. That's all I'm saying. Because if they stop you, they gonna You're stop next. you. They gonna stop you. And don't think anybody's gonna be immune. It's not gonna even be about race or na- or religion or you know nationality. They ain't even gonna be about that. It's gonna be about some whole bigger shit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I see. And that's see. all and I that's got to I'm say saying. about. That because yeah, we good. got some performances to get to. That's a right. fact. And fuck y'all, <laughs> I'm on. I stay <laughs> said, in between y'all. these two white lines in my lane, and I do what the fuck I want in my lane. Say what the fuck I want in my lane. Y'all come into my lane, you get what you gonna get. That's how I feel about it. That's and there right. you have it. And that's all I got to say about all right. that. So what we got in the performances right now? We about to let them know what they're about to get in these performances right now. Um, first of all, if you want to see the performances, you have to tune in to us on YouTube. Um, if you want to hear the performances, you have to tune in to us on S Street Media Radio. I'm going to give you all the information of that. But we have some music that is going to be performed by both artists tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Snooze, why don't you start by letting them know what single you are going to perform tonight? Well, tonight I'm performing a song called Rough Ride. It's off the Movement mixtape. Mm-hmm. The um, mixtape I put out with uh, DJ Cool Kid. Okay. So I've been performing that. Um, and it's just, 
you know, one of those songs that's really about the hometown and how I move. And just basically the video will be coming soon. We're working on that right now. Mm-hmm. So the single is out. Video coming soon. That's right. All right. What about you, world? Uh, the joint I'm going to do is uh, AO QGTM, mm-hmm. a.k.a. Queens Get the Money. Mm-hmm. Video's out right now. Song out on all streaming platforms. You know what I mean? My distributor CD Baby is under Grand Hard TV. And, um, yeah, we're going to kill it. Do what we do. That's what we do. Grand Hard. <laughs> I love it. Before we go, um, I want everybody to just let them know where they can find you, what social media platforms. I always tell people just Google the name. He's Googleable. Hello. S N O O Z E D A I L Y. Google. Mad stuff comes up because you could get free downloads, free music to stream. You know what I mean? If on Instagram, you can look me up. There's bio, there's uh, links in the bio for other music on other sites as well. I love it. World, give it to them. World Drama, W-O-R-L-D-A-R-A-M-A, on everything. GrindHardTV.com is the website. Mm. Everything is everything. You know what I mean? And where do they find you on your Grindhard TV podcast? SStreetMedia.com. Or you can go to S Street Media on YouTube. You could also watch Grand Heart TV on UBC TV Network. Mm-hmm. Download the Glue TV app on your Roku channels, Amazon TV or Apple TV. I'm all over the place with it. You're you know. all over the place. We got some Googleable men here yes. tonight. Yes. I'm I'm so thankful to have y'all in. I'm so mm-hmm. glad that things worked out the way they did. Right. I'm going to learn from now on to step out the way and right. let the universe do it's what it <laughs> do. Yeah. Because if you would have told me when you spoke to me, like, oh, I, I, I wanted to move you to another day because I wanted you on the show by yourself. And if you would have been like, oh, I, well, Snooze going to be on this week. I don't already know. Like, yeah. Like, we, yeah, I didn't we know. We good. You know. you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. Sometimes I'd be setting it up because I know the connection between right. people. Yeah. And then a lot of times... You want to keep guessing. Shit, no, yeah. shit be happening. And I don't be knowing they already... Right. And I'm like, oh, shit. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I got it right this time. Right. Because mm-hmm. the worst thing in the world is to ever um, schedule two people together that and don't match. Don't, exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? It's like, oh, God. And oh, it we, also helps too we when can, you we have can end it now. guests Great. for separate you know? shows. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you one guest and one. And show I always want to give people they just do. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm, I'm all about. I've been giving flowers way before Drink Champs, so I'm all about you know giving people their moment. You know, so I don't want nobody. Give me my flowers while I'm still here. Listen. Not while I'm dead. Listen, funerals I are for the living, not for the dead. Nah. 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 Yo, you know we about what? to go out to coast to coast in Miami next week and take that money off that record. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm yes. thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We about to get into some music by Snooze and get into these um, performances mm-hmm. today on our performance series. Um, you can follow me again at uh, Spicy Sugar 718 <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter, the House of Hip Hop podcast show on IG, Facebook, Twitch. Um, I'm on something else. Oh, TikTok. I just, like I said, I watch. I, I, I do post every now and again, but not much. I'm just watching y'all on there. Um, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Thank y'all for tuning in to us. Like I said, make sure you also tune in to um, S Street Media Radio, where our show is on three times a week. We that's, drop. that's rotation right there. That's rotation for that ass. Right. Three times a week you get the new episode, so make sure you tune into that. <laughs> and we're going to do better about it. we right. always trying to do better. Um, it's your girl, Spicy Sugar. Thank you so much to Math and S Street Media. Um, y'all ready to get into these yes, performances? We are. Yeah. I'm gonna sit oh, yeah. back and eat my popcorn and watch Snooze. He, yo, he been sitting up here eating popcorn all episode. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. All right, y'all. We'll see you on the next run. We're going to get into this music.
used to work with her. Word. Mature in the body uh, right. Trap queen uh, mind state, uh, legit in the money right. Yeah. Smooth skin, henny complexion, always on my mind. Her design is perfection, so attractive. Her soul got me captured. Hypnotized to make her mind's what I've been missing. Few words for my lady if you listening. Hold you in my arms is the mission. Candlelight and sunsets, strolls and we hand in hand. Building up trust to become your man. Hope you understand. This my mind, body, and soul. That Teddy type game make you turn the lights off. Caressing your curves, the body heat to keep you warm. Overdosing that walk when you blast off. Crown you my body, dug and slim for the cash flow. Yeah. One ride or die, baby, never letting you go. Can you play me? Real, recognize, real, I know the deal. Can you play me? I see a king, you see a queen, yeah, that's me. Can you play me? No, no, no. Sweating all natural, no makeup. Dying peace plus five, playing with that cake. Skin soft, get lost in the field. Holding her close, loving the sex appeal. Black queen, so dark and lovely. Only one cover girl in that fashion over in Fendi. One of a kind, thank God you mind. Sending me an angel to match my fly. Netflix and chill, good smoke and some wine. No rats allowed, but down with the six nine. Ride with your boy, let snooze blow your mind. Take your soul across the galaxy, true meaning of time. Going half on life just to see you smile. Miss Independent, the remnants of your smell got me intrigued. We could room 112, a little Sorocco White Henny, let me rock your world. My nigga, when we drop hits, David Banner doors like the Hulk, fuck a locksmith. I'm all about them digits, M's is the mission when we squat up. Swinging hammers like dog, get chopped up. The wicked games we play. Scarface sniff, narcotic hieroglyph Hard body, no microchip I stay organic drip Hit harder than Wooler splits Deep in her uterus Five power back shots later Whose power you is this? You ain't used to this futurist That make computers glitch Maneuver swift Lyrics ludicrous Yes, your dudes are fit Shots fire when the Ruger spits Revolutionist On some payback December 4 Retribution shit Smoke pollution thick Hookah pulls Cush pugilist Blows proving this He's one of 
the greats at doing this. Hardest Hendrix when he plays riffs, AK clips, hand grenade hits, Cassius Clay Swift with K Swiss. I am ageless, off the head in a cipher. I am pageless, razor blades, list the silicone, out the fake tips. Quarterback bliss, the actress, the mattress. When I back flips, then the max spin. The wicked games we play. Yo, your boy Snooze D, Long Island in the building. About to get into this rough ride. Let's get it. From classics, I be on my grind. Fit fire and brimstone to elevate my shine. Walk the valley of the beast and the trenches with these rhymes. Yeah. These Vell streets is where I grind and I ride out. Get to the back, hustle hard with no timeouts. You must be slipping, got them smitten when I rock out. Snooze is the name, daily making them tap out. These Vell streets is where I grind and I ride out. Get to the back, hustle hard with no timeouts. You must be slipping, got them smitten when I rock out. Snooze is the name, daily making them tap out. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, you heard that sound. My aim, get to the bag, go hard with no time. Mouth break bread, chose the hard road to get my mind right. Training from crack valve, led him to the god of life. I've been nice, just had to believe it. Feel the hunger from the soul now on my Willie Beaman. Any given day around the clock, I'm chasing green. Never ducking 12. I'm legit with the numbers, fan. Business mindset, don't make me turn, son of Sam. Show up, mistress in hand. Treat you like a bitch. Above your head, take a pause, then wait for it. Before my time, yeah, the risk got some weight to it The nine is venomous, what we wake and bake to Pillsbury on the dose, he just how I make moves I never hesitate, remain a humble dude I state my claim of rain while I roam through the hood These Bell Streets is where I grind and I ride out Get to the bag, hustle hard with no timeouts You must be slipping, got them smitten when I rock out Snooze is the name, daily making them tap out These Bell Streets is where I grind and I ride out Get to the bag, hustle hard with no time out You must be slipping Got them smitten When I rock out Snooze is the name Daily making them tap out Huh? Yeah Shout out to Sugar No Snooze in the building Exit 21 shit <laughs> Shout out to Street Media We in the building
You already know what it is. It's your boy, World the Rama, Groundhog TV podcast, GroundhogTV.com. We out here. You already know. Yeah. You know where I'm from? Hey, yo, Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. Hey, yo, Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. A fool retaliated, so I had to think fast. Put out my heat first, he put out his heat last. Hey, yo, Queens get the money, so we tuck the heat. Ain't nothing sweet. And other places think y'all running shit, then we'll buck your feet. Hot steps, take the right steps. Muscle biceps, strong arm. Emoji swinging swords like you know we can't no rapper hold me out the gate can't control me best beware with your gun you can't get jacked sound like Janet y'all be wishing on a star but be taking life for granted standing ten toes down to the ground my feet is planted born in Brooklyn woman's hospital but Queens is where I landed East Elmhurst first then flush in I rushed in Jamaica never fake the move south side we outside don't get yourself popped in far rock school of hard knocks that's Corona we the owner shit get sticky get the blicky or the burn if it's your turn and I'll learn ya but only necessary cause Queens we never wear hey, yo Queens Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. Hey yo, Queens get the money, long time, no cash. I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast. A fool retaliated, so I had to think fast. Put out my heat first, he put out his heat last. Hey yo, Queens get the money, slogan is inside of me. The best it gotta be. Rest in peace to that nigga prodigy. I remember when you and your man shot at me over that robbery. The chain was only 10 carats, but it was heavy jewelry. Foolery, we were through when we was young, we was dumb But in retrospect, I sit back and reflect It was fun, we would be at each other's house You drink handy, I drink rum It was grimy, hanging out in the 90s Packing guns, memories of smoking weed in the basement Of the dance school, ironically, they block you a visit When they paroled you, you was ahead of your time with your rhyme I ain't gon' hold you It's sad that they do pain on your face at the mural You was loyal to a hood that wasn't loyal Back, you wrote that, book niggas was shook Cause none of it was half from Hempstead But instead you rep Queens, and that's a fact They should've took some of these lame rappers and sent your ass Back. Hey, yo, Queens get the money, long time, no cash I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast Queens get the money, long time, no cash I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast Hey yo, Queens get the money, long time, no cash I'm caught up in a hustle where the guns go blast A fool retaliated, so I had to think fast Put out my heat first, he put out his heat last Yeah New single out right now, hey yo, please get the money. All streaming platforms. Thank you, Spicy Sugar, for having me. The house of hip hop, SG Media. You already know what it is. It's family in here. Thank y'all. That's it. Snooze Daily. Yo, yo, yo. I got my boy World Arama, uh-huh. S Street Media, Spicy Sugar, The House of Hip Hop, man. Season four, episode five. It's a wrap. See y'all later.